When you hear that a company is going public and offering stock shares to investors for the first time through an IPO, an investment bank is typically the entity handling the IPO. Investment bankers have the extremely important role of setting the initial stock price at a level that will hopefully attract investors to obtain the financing that the company needs. Determining the initial public offering stock prices can be a difficult business as the investment bank has to handle a delicate balance in pegging a price that will provide maximum funding for the client company while also attracting a maximum number of investors. If they price the stock too high, it may fail to attract sufficient investors, but if they price the stock too low, it may fail to provide a sufficient amount of capital. So how do these investment bankers decide what stock price to offer these companies at? While there are quite a few valuation models in the finance world, the investment banking community has largely gravitated to what is known as the multiples valuation method, also known as the comparables valuation method. In this video, we're going to be discussing what the valuation method is and how to perform one step by step. If you'd like to be able to download a template for this valuation model or any of my other spreadsheets, then you can head over to my Patreon page at the link in the description. At its core, the multiples valuation is a theory on the idea that similar assets will sell at similar prices. So what this means is the valuation model values a company based on how the market is valuing companies that are similar in structure. And the most common example that we see of this is in the real estate industry. Say you're looking to buy a home that you want it to have two bedrooms and two bathrooms. And in the area that you're looking at, similar homes have sold for around $350,000. Well, based on that, you can know that the home you're looking at buying will likely sell at around that same price range. Well, the same is true for trading stocks and valuing stocks. You can see here, I've already built out a template. So let's go ahead and look at a couple of examples. And the first one we'll do is a hypothetical example. Let's say that we're opening a supermarket called XXX, and this is gonna be a publicly traded company. And we wanna know how much this company is gonna trade for in the stock market. Well, the first thing that we would wanna do is we wanna to wanna to find companies that are similar in structure to our new supermarket XXX. So let's say we take companies like Kroger, we take a company like Walmart, maybe Target, and Dollar General. And we look at these companies, we decide they're very similar in structure to the new supermarket that we're getting ready to open. Well, what we wanna do is we wanna find their price to earnings multiples because this is a way to see how investors are valuing these four companies right here. So let's go ahead and pull some of this data. First off, I just wanna see the name of the company. We can do that by using the Google Finance function. So I'll just type out Google Finance, click on Kroger and type out name right here and hit enter. So we can see once this loads in, we automatically have the company name. We wanna do the same for the stock price. So again, I'll come over here and type out Google Finance. We will click on Kroger, comma, and type out price and hit enter. So now we have Kroger and the stock price that Kroger is trading at. But what we really wanna see is the earnings per share for Kroger. So again, we will use the Google Finance function come over here and click on Kroger stock ticker, hit comma, and then type out EPS in quotations and hit enter. And now we have Kroger's earnings per share. And the final thing that we wanna look at is our price to earnings multiple. And all that is gonna be is we'll do equals and we'll take our stock price and divide by our earnings per share. So now we can see Kroger's price to earnings multiple. So why did we do all of this? Well, again, the key thing that we are looking for is this price to earnings multiple right here, because we can see what is this company trading at compared to its earnings per share? So this is a way to see how the market is valuing this company. And they're valuing it at $13.41 price to earnings multiple. Well, we wanna see the same thing for these other companies. And because we use an interactive formula, we can just highlight this and drag this formula down here. And we can see all this data will automatically load in. So we can see Kroger's trading at a 13.41 price to earnings multiple, Walmart 27.8, Target 18.3, and Dollar General 24.4. So now we can see the price to earnings multiple of all of our comparable companies. So our next step is we wanna see what the average price to earnings is for these companies. So we'll type out equals average, and in open parentheses, we will highlight our price to earnings multiples close that off and hit enter. And now we wanna see the median as well. So I'll type out equals and do median, highlight the price to earnings multiple, close off the parentheses and hit enter. So now we have our average price to earnings multiple and our median price to earnings multiple. Now you typically have to choose which one of these you think is gonna provide a fairer valuation. A lot of the times if you don't have many companies, um, in your scenario, then you typically wanna use the average price to earnings multiple. If you have a lot of comparables, sometimes it makes more sense to use the median, especially if you have a few outliers. But I think this would be a scenario where I would take the average price to earnings multiple. 
So coming back over here to our company XXX, say that we have an earnings per share of about $5. I will pipe out five right here. So the final step is to find the intrinsic value based off of our average price to earnings of the comparables and our earnings per share. So what we'll do is we'll type out equals, we'll click on earnings per share, multiply that by the average price to earnings of our comparable companies and hit enter. And we can see based upon this, that our company would likely be trading around the price of $105.01 per share. Now let's go ahead and look at a real world example. And let's say we wanna find what the intrinsic value using the multiples valuation model is for a company like Wendy's. So first off again, what we will need to do is we wanna know what the comparable companies for Wendy's are. And there are a few that come to mind for me. Let's say we wanna use McDonald's as a comparison. We could look at Domino's Pizza as a comparison. We could look at a company like Starbucks potentially, and maybe QSR as well. Now it's important to remember that selecting the companies that you're gonna use as your comparison is the most important part. If you pick companies that aren't very, very related to the company you're trying to value, then you won't get a good valuation. So some people may agree, may disagree with these. This is just an example, but that is really one of the most important parts of this valuation model. But if we come over here again, we can see the price to earnings multiple for each of these companies, and we can see the average and median. They're pretty similar. And so what we wanna do is we wanna look at Wendy's price to earnings. So I'll type out Wendy's right here, and we wanna know what their earnings per share is. So again, what we'll do is we'll just use our Google Finance function, We'll come over here and click on Wendy's and in quotations, we'll do EPS to pull this in and click on enter. And we can see Wendy's earnings per share is 0.81. And when we multiply that by the average price to earnings of our comparisons, we come to an intrinsic value of $20.79 per share. Let's go ahead and pull in Wendy's current stock price um, to see if this is actually pretty close to what they're trading at. And so to do that again, we'll do equals Google Finance, come here and click on Wendy's and we will type out price. And when I hit enter, we can see that the current trading price for Wendy's is $20.07 per share. So our multiples valuation gave us a very close valuation compared to Wendy's current trading price, which what this would mean is that Wendy's is trading at a fair value when you look at their comparisons according to our multiples valuation model. Again, it's important to note that it can be difficult to find truly comparable companies and transactions to value a stock. This is the most challenging part of a comparable analysis. It's also worth noting that different valuation approaches may yield different findings. For example, the discounted cash flow approach looks solely at the company being valued and ignores market factors or competitor data. On the flip side, the stock market can become overvalued at times, which would make a comparable approach less meaningful, especially if the comparables are overvalued. This is why I typically look at multiple valuations to find a stock's intrinsic value, and it also led me to create the ultimate stock valuation spreadsheet, which is a spreadsheet that I used in all of my stock analysis videos to calculate intrinsic value. I use four different valuations to make sure that I'm getting a good idea of what a company is actually worth. If you'd like to be able to download the template I created in this video or any of the spreadsheets I use, you can head over to my Patreon page at the link in the description. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.